Hello and welcome to a makeup video. It's been a minute for me since I've done any makeup and I of course needed to come up with some looks for Halloween because I love me some spooky season. So look number one for this lovely Halloween season is a Flying Dutchman Crewman inspired look. Definitely inspired by Bootstrap Bill and also Makeup by Ruthie on Instagram. So strap in, it's going to be fun. I hope you enjoy. Part of the crew, part of the ship. All right, let's go. First up is prosthetic application. I bought my prosthetics from the prosthetics house on Etsy and it was a mermaid collection set. So very useful for the look that I had in mind. And I started off before jumping into anything else. I wiped the areas of my skin that I was going to be applying the prosthetics with isopropyl alcohol to make sure that the application area was clean and dried out so the prosthetics would stick better. And then I went in with Prozaid. I've used Prozaid once before, so I knew that it worked on my skin. So I'm going with Prozaid and I'm attaching the uh, Prozade to the prosthetic itself as well as putting some of the pro Prozade on my skin and I let it dry down a bit and then I press the prosthetic on and I hold it there for a little bit and then I take some acetone to take off the outer area of the prosthetic and help blend the edges into my skin and this process is pretty standard across all SFX makeup. I'm not doing anything unique or specific, you know, for this look. So we're just gonna speed run through the rest of this because uh, it took me an hour to apply the prosthetics, but I'm definitely not gonna show every single detail. And I'm also not an expert in this field. So if you want actual instruction on how to apply prosthetics, definitely look it up from someone else and not me. Starting off, after all the prosthetics are applied, I'm going in with a very thin, rough base layer. And it's really just to even out my skin tone. I'm not really focusing too much on making this perfect because with this look, I want my skin to look rough. We're part of the Flying Dutchman crew, so you're not going to look pretty. So I'm just taking my Fenty Beauty blurring tint and then my Shape Tape Concealer and just going over some spots that need some coverage, but it's very rough. And I'm not using any powder either because I want my skin to have a like dewy wet look, so I don't want it to be matte whatsoever. And then going in with the Stone Cold Fox palette and I'm pretty much using only three colors exclusively from the So Cold Fox palette. I first went in with Quarry Days to put down a foundation of brown in my eye sockets and around my eye sockets where I wanted the like base layer, I guess you could say, to be. And I am definitely going in heavy-handed. I want my eyes to look 
deep and tired and haggard. And then after my base brown color, which is a neutral light brown, I then went in with a darker neutral brown. Actually, this one is kind of leaning more on the cool tone side. This is Cult Classic from the Stone Cold Fox palette. And I'm using this darker brown to deepen the shadows around my eyes. And I'm also taking this color around my mouth area to grunge it up a bit, dirty it up a bit, you know, where under the sea it's gonna be dirty. And then I am taking the Cult Classic shade again and using that as a shadow around the prosthetics. So basically, the idea that I had in mind for these prosthetics is that I wanted it to look like they were kind of sucking the life out of me. <laughs> so there is a, a gross, dirty shadow that I wanted to put around all of the prosthetics to create this effect. And that's what I'm doing. And I'm doing that for all the prosthetics that I applied and for these little like barnacle pieces I was putting the dark brown color in the center of the barnacle pieces as well to make it look deeper, give it depth, you know? And I go back and forth for all of this. There is no linear application here for all of my makeup looks. I always go back and forth a bunch of times because I'm, you know, just trying to figure out what looks best. Sometimes I stop too soon and I'm like, nope, I gotta go add more. Um, and that's just how it goes. So now I'm working on the gills. For the gills, I did go in with Obsidian from the Stone Cold Fox palette, which has kind of a burnt red undertone to it. It's a brown, but there's a bit of burnt red in there. So I wanted to add that on the gills because I wanted the gills to look kind of like they were irritated or infected almost. You know, they're part of my skin, but unwillingly so, I guess, is how I was picturing it. Uh, so that's why I wanted a bit of a red undertone in there. So it gave off the look of irritation. But I'm also using the Cult Classic Brown as well. And now I'm going in with my Pro Coloring Bruise palette from Their Own Makeup. And I'm using the red in there. And when I first applied this, it was kind of too concentrated in the center of the starfish with the red. But I started blending it out and I wanted it to, I didn't want it to be like a super bright red because again, we're living under the water, it's not going to be super bright, but I blend the red out as much as I can, and then I also add a teensy bit of red to the gills as well, because again, I wanted it to have this look of irritation. And now I'm going in with the yellow color from the uh, their own palette, and I'm just adding that to the top ridges of the starfish to give it a bit of a highlight. And like I said before, my makeup process is not linear, so I'm going back in with the browns to add more shadow and contour around the starfish. And then I'm going in with the green from the Maroon palette, and I'm adding that to the barnacles because my reference photo of Bootstrap Bill, he had these barnacles on his face that were kind of a yellow tint, they looked like pustules, like the color was like pustules almost. So I wanted to mimic that. So I went in with the green and I didn't want the green to be too bright. So I also put some brown on top of that to dirty it up, make it look old, make it also look infected almost because this whole thing is like, you know, these, the aspects of the sea is overtaking you, right? And you become a crew member of the Flying Dutchman. So that's what I was going for. And now I am adding some veining. So the veining was very light. I didn't want to go in heavy-handed. So I'm taking the 
red from the Mehron palette and I'm, you know, lightly, lightly drawing these squiggly lines and then I'm just taking my finger and patting over it so it's not too in your face. And now I'm going with brown from the, the shadow brown and then I'm adding that more shadow around my nose and my lips. Going in with mascara, finishing touches, you know, we're almost there. We're almost done. It's only been like four hours, it's fine. Um, now I'm adding some gloss and some contour as the final touches. I want it to look a little gaunt. And now I'm adding a gloss over my lids, again to give the wet look, because you're underwater. You're going to be wet. And now, final, final touch, I'm adding some coral looking dried moss that I got. So that is the final look. And this is the look under some red mood light, but I will show you the look under, uh, directly under a ring light as well. But I think for FFX makeup, it was pretty straightforward and I'm very happy with how it turned out. I think it pretty much turned out exactly how I envisioned it and it was fun. It was, you know, fun little underwater sea creature pirate inspired look of sorts, but I'm happy to have uh, done some SFX makeup again because it's been a while, so I hope you enjoyed. Um, I normally don't film this part, but because I tend to like <laughs> this part of the process, the taking off part, I decided to film it. So um, I got my uh, adhesive remover. I use um, Krylon Cosate as my adhesive, so I bought their adhesive remover so everything works together. And I got my... Uh, box of q-tips and yeah we're just gonna speed run this i'm gonna fast forward this and post so for me it's probably gonna take a while but for you it's probably only gonna be like a minute long yay <laughs> done. My skin is just um, slightly irritated. Uh, I have eczema on my neck, 
so yeah it's gonna be irritated for a couple days probably but um yeah i'm gonna go take a shower now and wash the rest of this off of me anyway i hope you enjoyed